Cam was obviously the, the ankle motion, mm -hmm. the restricted movement, right? And we talked about that last time. So uh, we'll get in. I'm going to show you exactly on the visit body what's going on okay. with that. Uh, you had some active release before, so you right. kind of know the deal there. Yep. Uh, tight, restricted fascia is what gets it to move in, right. treat nerve entrapments. On the hip side, mm -hmm. we saw some impingement. Which has been really bad this weekend. And I okay. did not run after our visit. Good. I thought about it. Okay. Did not run at all, but I think it was Sunday night. Now, I do a lot of walking around. Yep. Um, did okay. not run, but I'm telling you, I could barely walk, right to the point I was limping. Okay. And so the pain's there on the outside? It's all here and yeah. on the outside. And it's just kind of... Okay. So when I was laying down, I was trying to really think about where is the pain, and it was spots. really kind of in there. Yeah. And then this one, I think, starts trying to compensate okay. for the pain here because I start. I think it just internally you start compensating. Right. So this one starts hurting worse. Okay. But this one's still on the outside. Luckily, the hinge okay. part hasn't really kicked in yet. Right. But this one was killing me Sunday yeah. night. So we got some impingement on both hips. Right. The psoas tendon, I'll show you that on okay. here, is inflamed. Right. And we probably got the beginnings of some bursitis probably. when it comes to the outside. Probably. So we'll, we'll talk a little bit about that too. Okay. Uh, the ankle plays a role, obviously. Things can move up. Mm -hmm. When it comes to the foot and ankle, there's not much, <laughs> not there's nowhere to go below <laughs> that. But we always kind of look up and downstream, okay. right? So if it's a knee, we're going to look at foot and ankle. Right. We did see some restricted motion. So let's talk about that okay. first, okay? Perfect. So um, I'm going to kind of turn this so we sure. can see on the camera. So what we're looking at here is obviously the front okay. of both shins, okay? And so I've kind of blown this up so that we can see this right in here is what mm -hmm. we call the extensor retinaculum. And it's basically a thick band of ligament. Okay. And it holds all of these tendons down in the front of the shin. Okay. okay. You can see some nerves in there as That's well. That's exactly where it hurts. So you've got adhesion in there, which uh -huh. basically means the tissues are glued down, right? Including the fascia. Okay. That's that kind of silvery stuff, that inner wolves all between the muscles and tendons. And so we've got to get those tissues sliding through there. Okay. So you have normal range of motion. On the back side, okay, we've mm -hmm. also got some issues going on. And so again, with the tissues in the backside, in through here is the big thick ligament here. Mm -hmm. And that is also kind of scarred up and glued down. And right. it's limiting that movement of the ankle. Okay. So what we're going to do is combine some soft tissue fascial manipulation, sure. some joint manipulation, okay. and then round that out with some exercises to Perfect. allow you to mobilize it. Sure, okay. that's great. Um, let me back up and go to the hip so we can talk a little bit about that. So first, we're going to look at actually the joint, okay? okay? And you can see that you've got all of this ligament structure all around mm -hmm. the hip. It's what we call the joint capsule. Okay. Every joint has it. It's like the shrink wrap. And it gets glued down all the time, mm -hmm. okay? Typically, in the hip, it's going to limit this hip right. flexion movement, okay? And so we're going to need to do some work on that as well. When we look inside the joint, this is where your labral cartilage is. Okay. Okay. And so there's a potential based on the symptoms that we right. could have some involvement with that labor. Okay. Could there be some small tears in there? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. We won't know that uh, without doing an MRI. It doesn't mean we're right. going to start there. Okay. Okay. What we want to do is create better joint motion in the head. Right. So we're going to teach you how to do some banded distractions. Okay. We're going to do some of that in the office. Okay. That will allow us to treat the hip joint in between visits, and that's really important for us okay. to maintain mobility through there. Okay. So that's on the joint side with the, with the hip. And then when we look at kind of the outside of the hip. You can see just all of these mm -hmm. muscles in through here and in the front. Mm -hmm. So again, those tissues need to slide. Okay, If we look here at the, the glute muscle, we can fade that and see how it overlaps everything. Right. So right now, we don't have a lot of sliding going on right. through there. Okay. So essentially what's going on, we've got um, joint issues, mm -hmm. we've got some soft tissue, fascial issues, maybe some nerve irritation along the way. Um, and then what's happening is you've got some joints that just aren't moving enough, right? <laughs> yeah. The ankle and the hip and right. the lower back. So right. we're going to work on that with manipulation. Perfect. You've got some joints that probably aren't really being stabilized that well. Okay. So there's exercises for that. Perfect. Okay. Uh, on the soft tissue side, same deal. Some tissues have gotten tight and moved down mm -hmm. over time. That's where the ART comes in, right. or any of the manual therapies we use. We use instruments sometimes, sure. 
it's all geared towards trying to free up adhesion, create better sliding of the tissue, okay? And then on the exercise front, we're going to be focusing primarily on a couple things. Mobility for areas that are tight and restricted, and then stability or motor control. Um, people talk about weakness all the time, okay? What happens a lot of times is the muscles will get inhibited from joint dysfunction. Meaning, okay, what happens is the muscle is innervated by the nerve that also innervates the joint. So when we see impingement of the hip joint and in the lower back, it will a lot of times cause inhibition of the glutes. Well, it's going to affect your ability to extend the hip. Right. So with running, that's a problem. <laughs> yes, and that's going to cause actually. other muscles to compensate, right? So those are kind of the big things that we're going to focus on. If we look here, this is kind of what our integrative approach is. is we're going to look at soft tissues and joints, okay. and then we're going to round that out with corrective exercises. Okay. Any one of these without all three, right. we're not getting the complete integrated picture. Okay, So that's what we're going to be focused on primarily. Does that all make sense? It makes a lot of sense okay. because it kind of feels that way. I guess that makes sense. I can feel that a joint is. Right. Like I'm trying to roll my ankle and stretch. It just doesn't yeah. want to to move. That's so right. I can feel the same exact thing you're talking about. Yep. So, yeah. so um, we're probably looking at twice a week sure. for the next like four to eight weeks. Sure. Okay. That sounds perfect. As far as imaging goes, we'll probably at around six visits. Mm -hmm have an evaluation where we'll look and say, hey, are we responding? Okay. We see enough positive change that we can forego the MRI. Okay. Um, if symptoms were to worsen or that impingement just doesn't get better, okay. maybe we get that uh, MRI sooner than later. Um, so that's pretty much it. Okay. Right. So three simple things. So um, if you have questions, you need to ask me. Oh, I'm okay. a question girl, so good. we're good. <laughs> uh, need you keep up with the homework exercises. Yep. Okay. If we do that, it should be a home run. And then once we get you better, send us some patients. Pretty simple. <laughs> Believe right. me, I've already told five people right. to come see you today. Okay. All right. So we'll get this video sent off okay. to you. Okay. We're